Fuck, I don't know. Do we get into it? Do we talk about the... Okay. Yeah, let's get into it. Okay, fuck it. <laughs> we, uh... So the backside of this is we had a dude um, that did the the Kenya Mall attack. Remember that? Mm-hmm. So it's that dude. Um, so it's around the Horn of Africa, and we are going to go get this dude. It's a president-directed mission. So it's a big one. Um, the biggest one that I've ever done for sure. Um, Intel's painting a, painting a picture that's maybe not accurate. Beachside bungalow. Like... He goes there to watch TV, hang out, be super benign, in and out. Cool. Not the fucking case. We get there, we've planned, we've rehearsed, and we've done all our shit. And I, um, I'm running the primary breach on the first floor. I go up and over the gate. I should probably start off with, uh, we swam in. So that's a whole different set of problems. Um, we swam in a, uh, a slaughterhouse offshoot. Um, so you can imagine all the great white sharks. That's a real fucking thing. Um, that's the fastest I ever swam in my life. <laughs> so we swam in, we do our whole thing. I go up and over, um, and I'm messing around with the locking mechanism on the gate to try to get it open. And there's a string going from the gate. It looks like it's going inside. Um, and now I think that was a, an early warning device. Um, I think it was hooked to a bell. It was hooked to something. Um, we get the gate open, we bring everybody in, and as we are rolling up to the front door, they start getting contacted on the roof. Guy comes out, shoots, skips off one of the guy's helmet, and now the firefight ensues. And it's three stories, and it's getting fucking chaotic, dude. Like, they have been prepping for this for a long fucking time, and this is not a beachside bungalow. There's, uh, there's no doors. They're all walled up from the inside. There's nothing to attack, you can't see anything. It's like I'm trying to get the door open, but you don't know where the hinges are. You don't know what it is. It's this huge, um, super thick door. Fuck, man. It probably must have been six inches thick. So it's a fucking fortress. It's a fucking fortress, dude. It's a fucking, it's a literal fortress. Um, they start getting contact on the roof, and we sprint up the front door. And as we go to divide, this dude opens up on the front door and lets it go. And just you just see splinters of wood, and it just fucking traces us and doesn't hit anybody. We roll to either side, and now we're trying to deal with this problem. Um, the hate coming out of that front door was nothing like I've ever seen. It just continuous, ascending it. And the way it, it ended up being was a long wall, the door in the center. I'm on one side, and I've got um, my shooting buddy on the other side, and I've got my team leader behind me. And we're trying to figure this out. Like, we have to get inside, but we're not supposed to kill this dude. That was the whole thing, is... For whatever reason, the powers to be really wanted this dude alive, and the last thing they told us before we went, I I would rather you shoot him a hundred times and he lives than shoot him one time and he dies. Bring him back alive. Well, I'm fucking committed. We all are. We're gonna bring that dude back alive. We came up with every plan we could have. Um, and at the end of the day, if you don't want to be captured, you're not capturing the dude. You're just not. Um, especially in that part of the world, with just how violent they are. I mean, you've seen Black Hawk Down. That's the most realistic war movie I've ever fucking watched. That's exactly how it is. They are fucking... <laughs> and they come on quick. So we're in this, we're in this shit storm in the middle of the door. <laughs> and I'm trying to decide how I'm going to blow this thing. I've got my charge in my hand. It's already capped in. Um, I've got my hydrogel peeled. I'm ready to stick this thing. And I'm timing between his bursts coming through the door. So you see it all chew up. Like three, two, wham, goes live again. You're like, motherfucker, man. You're just timing it. He finally goes and I slap this thing. And there's nowhere to roll. There's just nothing to do. Um, you got to eat it. It's like, luckily for me, the guy behind me is super experienced. Um, I mean, we all are very experienced breachers. And we knew we could take it. We'd been there before. Um, just unfortunate. Turn your head and exhale and send it. And uh, that concussion blew out the everybody's ears we were all done um and when it blew i could see the locking mechanism behind it was it looked like a fucking railroad tie was stuck yeah. down so big new york lock and we weren't getting through it but it blew out a slat about waist high down about this wide um and grenades started coming out of it <laughs> accurate 
So the way it was, it's the front door and there's a long ass hallway going down and there's a dude who's in a sandbag position with a belt fed at the end of the hallway. And it's just chewing down the hallway. And there's a dude in the first room off to the right who's shooting at us through the window. So I've got my shooting buddy pinned. He's taking fire over this shoulder and he's taking fire down the hallway and he can't move. He can't do anything. It's like a big railing. We've got all the rest of the guys on. So we're the only three that are stuck on there. We're trying to get this door open. Um, let me back up. <laughs> when I place the charge, I roll back and I look at him and I was like turning steel and I turned my head and I blew it. And when I looked back up, he was gone. And I looked down and I saw the hole and I thought he went. And I dropped to my knees and I start going for the door and my team leader's pulling me back. I guess he had jumped over the wall. Um, I thought he went. And I was not going to let that fucking dude go alone. <laughs> I'm on my hands and knees trying to crawl through this fucking hole. And uh, he's pulling me back. Like, we're good. We're good. Well, now we can't get out. Um, this thing's been going on for a couple minutes. The guys on the second deck are in the same shit storm. The guys on the roof are in the exact same thing. Now there's people that are surrounding us. We're taking fire from. The whole thing's getting dicey. Um, and we've got to fucking leave. Like, we can't sit here and do this for another 10 more minutes. Like, you're not going to let us kill this guy. We can. We've got to get out. Unfortunately for us, the only egress route was directly behind us which is directly in line with that dude's PK. So the only way out is to run straight through his alley. Can't go up and over the walls. There's not enough time. We don't have enough ladders. And there's quite a few guys inside the courtyard. Um, we're trading grenades back and forth with this dude. And it finally comes time. The enemy QRF is upon us. And they're in technicals heading our way. And we got to fucking go. So look at the TL. What do you want, man? He's like, get ready for an RPG. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I mean, like, bells already rang. Like, we've got shit coming out of our nose. Like, we're, we're super concussed. Um, and we ate a, for the guys that know, I mean, we ate a 1,200-grain ECT from arm's length away. Jesus. No ear pro. I mean, we just sent it. I mean, I know what that charge is going to do. The overpressure is going to fuck me up, but it's not going to blow me up. I know what that charge will do and what it won't. And I was confident in it. Um, and we had to send it. There was no other way. I wasn't going to turn around and leave without giving it every, every bit of effort I could. And I looked back at him and I don't know how the fuck we're going to get out of here. It's like, get a T-bomb. Like, so my buddy was uh, down in the courtyard. He had a T-bomb because we had to swim in a bunch of this shit. So we had spread loaded a bunch of stuff. Um, so I'd already launched one in and I looked at him and we did a, we did a real world flea flicker, which is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Like, <laughs> Fucking threw it across the doorway, caught it, untaped it, and launched it. Um, but it was funny. It was so funny to see uh, the TL. He's like pushing on the walls. He's like doing the, doing the, the math in his head. Like this many square, square feet. The concussion. This overpressure. What's it gonna do to us? And um, we launched it. We sent a bunch of rounds down there. And basically called for Xville. Like, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this thing loose. Um, this overpressure charge. And then when it goes boom, we're all going to take off and run. And that's what we did. Um, and I'm doing the peekaboo thing. He's shooting. I'm trying to see where he is. And I finally see it. And I've got that T-bomb. like, you ready? Pull the pin. And I launched the most beautiful toss I've ever had. And uh, when I turned, the overpressure was so bad, it blew me off the porch. And we took off at a dead run as fast as we could go. Had a big, uh, <laughs> a big guy there blow through the gate. We didn't even open the gate. Everybody came up and over. That's how... It was taking too long. We didn't have time to fuck with it. So he shouldered the gate and blew through it. That's how we got out. And that dude never skipped a beat firing that PK. Never. Wow. Like I'm, I threw a T-bomb, essentially what I thought in that dude's lap. Nothing. Fuh, 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 fuh. Continued. I don't know how he didn't shoot us. I don't know how he didn't. Shot one of the recce guys off the ladder, um, like chewing up the wall that he was on. I mean, fuck crazy. Just the continuous hate that was coming out of the thing. Um, we made it back down. We got a quick head count. We had everybody there. The, the enemy's massing, um, and we've got to get the fuck out. Um, and the surf was shitty. So the extract platform, long story short, gets rolled over in the surf zone. So now this whole thing, um, it happens in, on Xville, um, just in the, in the confusion and everything else, just trying to get boats in alignment. And, um, uh, I mean, we had dudes get not left out at sea, but, 
basically like this is such a shit show right now and it is so fucking dangerous we're just going to swim as far as we can we turn on an iris strobe and we just swam got picked up by a um, bunch of um, exfil platforms and everything else but in the course of that um, essentially the only way to get out is I <laughs> grabbed a hold of the bow line and I wrapped it around my, my wrist and I had them tow me out on a zodiac and when they picked up enough speed the wake it spun me and it popped my shoulder so now my arm is it's essentially paralyzed. Um, like, it's not working. It's like, holy fuck. I do the exact same thing, and I wrap it up with this one. The same thing. Pow! <laughs> like, oh, my God. No, I'm treading water. Like, I've, I've got use of my arms, but it feels like... Um, it feels like it dislocated. Like, it feels strange. Um, an exorbitant amount of pain. We get on a, uh, on a jet ski, round two. And that thing flips. And because we're straddling it, the way it flipped with such force, it blew out this, um, blew out the, uh, the lab in my right hip and my left hip. So now I'm essentially bobbing like a bag of shit. Jesus Christ. Um, so me and my swim buddy, we make it out. We get on there. We, we do our debrief. They're, they strip us down naked. Um, with all those frags that we ate, everything, none of the frags stuck in us. I mean, we were super concussed. We were fucked up. But you could brush it, and it was like a, like metal shavings everywhere. It was like, it was like God came down and just said, "Not today." I mean, it was every inside your ears, inside your eyelids, fucking everywhere. I mean, it was the strangest thing. Um, 